How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to add a dubstep wobble or wobble effect on top of any vocal line, any vocal channel strip. Um, so yeah, very interesting. I found this in a song not too long ago and I thought you know, why not give it a try and see what happens? And my initial thought was to add some tremolo to it. And uh, you can actually get quite a good tremolo slash dubstep wobble effect on your vocals um, with the tremolo plugin built into Logic Pro 9. So let's do that now. Basically, all I have here is just a single channel strip with some single vocals sitting on top of it. And so let's go down to modulation and add that tremolo plugin. Make sure you get into stereo because we will be using that later on. And what you want to do is have the symmetry at 50%, and smoothing you want to decrease between 0 and 10%. All right, and then this rate here is just like the rate on any LFO if you were going to do a dubstep wobble on any other synthesizer. Um, so there you are. Make sure your phase is at 0 degrees, and let's give this a listen. Boy, you're an alien. You're that's so, so we're very, very close to what I would say is a very nice um, wobble effect on top of these vocals. But as you can see here in this diagram, the valleys um, are still have a little bit of volume. And what I want to do is decrease that volume as much as possible. So what I'm going to be doing is just doubling this tremolo plug-in. And let's see what happens now. Boy, you are an alien. So now it even adds, those valleys are actually very extremely quiet and it sounds a little bit more dubstepy. The problem with this is that you have to manage the rate on both of your tremolo plugins at the same time, which gets kind of tedious and lame. But um, I mean, if you want to get this effect, I would suggest doing it. Um, you might also try, I haven't ever done this before, but you could probably put a noise gate on it instead of that second tremolo. And actually, let's try this right now. Boy, you're an alien. You're touched so far It's supernatural. Extraterrestrial. Boy, you're an alien. You're touched so far It's supernatural. So, I mean, I guess you can do the exact same thing with the noise gate and then just be able to use the same rate. Um, all you're doing is cutting out or silencing those parts that are very, that are barely heard, um, aka the valleys, as you can see here. All right, another um, kind of effect um, that is besides the fact that you can do on vocals um, is to do this, okay. Go back to the single tremolo plugin and then increase the phase to 180. All right, and let's take a listen to it. Boy, you're an alien. You're touched so far. So it basically, instead of having that wobble effect, that highs and lows, it's sending um, back and forth in between your ears, which is very cool and why I wanted you to select stereo instead of mono. All right, so now what we can do is copy that tremolo effect down and give it a listen. Boy, you're an alien. So it's basically just having um, both the, the the two tremolos are just back and forth, back and forth, sending these things to opposite sides of your head, and it adds for a really cool uh, almost effect that you would normally put in a song or a portion of a song. Um, so, I mean, have some fun with it. Play around with it. Um, I've never used that in a song, but um, I just kind of stumbled upon to it and thought, you know, maybe, maybe, in a song somewhere along the road, this would find its spot. So I thought I'd share it with you guys, all right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right. So um, that's all I had to show to you today, guys. If you have any suggestions on future videos, please hit me up in the comments or a message. Please comment, rate, subscribe, besides the fact. And that's all. That's all I got. I've had water boiling for about 20 minutes, so I should probably go check that. I'll peace out.